Hello everyone, uh, this is what we're going to make today, the stamp seal logo design. So um, please subscribe my channel, hit the like button, and set the alarm for my latest video. Then let's get started. Okay, so I created a new Adobe Illustrator document. So first let me type the letters A and H. A and H. And then I'm going to change my typeface, more classical looking, like this. Okay, so serif typeface. Then next thing is go to type menu, create outlines, and ungroup them. Let me zoom in. I'm going to link it together right next to it. Just touch each other. Okay, and select both. Then. Um, open Pathfinder and unite it as one shape. Okay, then choose the, your knife tool from your toolbox, cut here, cut here. Now choose the, um, uh, your delete anchor point tool, minus pen tool, delete that point, this, that, this, and same as here. So I'm deleting all the um, kind of a linking horizontal stroke. All right. Then I'm gonna move this the um, uh, this part of letter H a little bit closer to this. Okay. Select all. Uh, let me group them. Okay. So next thing is I'm gonna draw a circle like a stamp. So choose the, your ellipse tool, no fill, just a black stroke, and then place the somewhere in, in the middle. Hold down the option, keep pressing your mouse button and the shift key, and drag it, something like that. And I'm going to increase my stroke weight up to, let's see, 10 point. I think 10 or a little bit thicker, like a 12 point. Depends on the, your type size. Select both and aligned. I'm gonna center everything. All right, so it looks good. Okay, next thing is I'm gonna draw uh, one oval, something like, oh, no fill, just a black, uh, no, a black fill and no stroke. Oval kind of skinny, oval like this. So this width is the wider than the my circle. And then choose your anchor point tool. Click on that end point, click on that end point. Okay. I'm going to register this as a brush. Open your brush panel, drag and drop and check the art brush. Okay. And say okay. Then delete it. We're going to use it. You see that? is here. Now let's draw um, one single line crossing the circle like this. Okay. Uh, I'm going to center it. So I'll select this and select your circle. Uh, align and center. Okay. So select this. Now open your brushes panel and apply this brush. Okay, then choose your Add Anchor Point tool, add anchor point in the middle of this line, and choose the uh, Anchor Point tool, keep pressing, and do something like this. It's a kind of a big wave, pretty sharp and smooth. All right, then I'm going to rotate it like this way. Okay, let me make a copy of this. Hold down the option, keep pressing, and make a copy like this. Okay, I'm going to make it a little closer. Select both. Let me move it down a little bit. So uh, it's going to replace uh, that yeah, horizontal stroke we deleted. 
okay so it looks good so far select everything go to object menu expand appearance and expand again say okay zoom in then choose the uh, your shape builder tool hold down the option click in this mid section that one I don't need them delete delete and delete it and delete this once it is done open the pathfinder and unite it as one shape so we're getting in there okay I'm gonna make it slightly smaller than this okay next thing is I need to have the, uh, the big circle around so um, what you can do is let me choose my um, uh, what is it, the ellipse tool and no fill uh, I'm gonna have the different stroke color this time um, maybe red any color is okay place your mouse co uh, cursor somewhere in the middle hold down the option shift and uh, click and shift draw the one perfect circle about this size okay I'm gonna center it so it looks okay All right then let me make it bigger like that about this size about this size okay then we're gonna need it later so uh, I'm going to make another copy of this and put this aside okay and then change the color of this red is uh, the red field for now let me move it back arrange send to back and I'm gonna have black field and then my um, uh, main symbol let me I'm gonna put this back to white all right so we're getting close next I need to have a text so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have this here right on top and make it smaller something like this somewhere there and I'm gonna type it your uh, stroke color really doesn't matter it will be disappeared so choose this time your type on path tool and then let me choose my typeface this time I'm gonna use a different typeface like a future and then the type size I don't know let's try it from 24 and then place your the type on the path tool on the path click and let me type uh, first let me change the uh, text color to white uh, it is too small I'm gonna make it even bigger but let me type it first so I'm gonna start with the other bullet option 8 then aroma house and option 8 okay so it looks good but I want to make it a little bit bigger so character let me increase the type size I think it's okay make it a little bit bigger but I want to control this the end of the tracking so um, some here minus 75 I think that looks good and let me rotate it so I can keep the same distance from the wave let me make it slightly even bigger than that like that aroma house so it looks good next thing is I want to have the another text on the bottom established it in the 1970 something any number so select it select your text copy and paste in front so I have another one right on top now go to type menu type on the path type on the path options and flip it say okay see that but it is inside the circle so now open your character 
and you will see the baseline shift to things. I'm going to move it under the baseline, like there. Then let me type, change the text. It's going to be bullet and since, oh no. Oops. Not in there. Is established 1970. Okay, type size is good, but um, the tracking is too wide. So I'm going to change this number down to I don't know 100, even more. Let me try minus 100, uh, 130, maybe a little more. 40 minus 150 that looks good okay then let me rotate it like there okay I'm gonna change the type size a little bit smaller than this and then um, tracking minus 130 that looks better all right, uh, I think it is centered. So we are almost done. Okay, well, let me show you this. Let me zoom out. I'm going to put this here. So I have a white text and a white, black and white. I want to have a uh, cutout, like a stencil. So select your text first, text, top and the bottom. Then under type menu, create outlines okay now select your background shape then under object menu compound the path and make it now select everything open your pathfinder and choose minus front see so I have a transparent thing okay so now from here you are free from changing color, any color. Even you can bring it back to um, the Photoshop and then uh, you can apply some any kind of layer styles. Let me make a copy, copy, maybe one more. And then let me have this in red. Have this in blue. This in green. Okay then now uh, you can export it to a photoshop and apply any layer styles for the different texture or different effect okay so i hope you enjoyed this tutorial and then um i will see you next time thanks for watching